Cancer, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for November 14th to the 20th of 2016. I'm Athen, and this channel is about using the actual constellations in the sky. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different, which means your sign might be different, and you'll want to watch this for the right sign. All right, so Cancer, this week we have a full moon right at the beginning of the week, and uh, kicking things off, you know, this is a status check, status check time. And uh, for you, I think it's a status check of two key areas. One is your aspirations in life. Uh, the full moon will be in Taurus, your 11th house. Um, so this does suggest that it's a good time to evaluate your life in terms of what are your personal aspirations and how are your personal aspirations going? So this might be your hopes, your wishes, basically anything for the future. Now, it's not just for yourself either. The 11th house is a very community-oriented part of the chart. So maybe reflecting on how's your community going or your network circles or your friends. You know, it's a really good time to see what's working and continue to develop what is and let go of what is not um, serving you any longer in this department. Now, the other area is your 10th house, which is about career and your productive life. So a status check of that as well especially if you started something about six months ago uh, involving the career or the productive life could be coming to a head this week or at least again you can see what has come ahead and can continue to develop what those things are so that's going to be the beginning then as the week um, continues from the beginning there is a bit of this waning energy but it's still a very high energy time very high awareness time and again momentum is being built. Now, in the aspects, as you can see here, things are sort of split up into two halves. You've got this uh, Mercury. Let's talk about this Mercury sextiling up to Mars these first three days of the week. Um, this is actually an easy aspect, um, suggesting opportunities. And this might have to do with the opportunities for one, for you to express yourself, and two, with relationships. And maybe express yourself through your relationships, in fact, with Mars, who does rule that fifth, who's recently gone into your seventh. So really good time for that, really good for being direct in relationships. And again, this is all types of relationships, whether it's romantic, business, uh, friends, whatever it might be. And I think with that independence, it's really utilizing this motivation of what you, what motivates you in relationships. What are your, you know, what's your satisfaction there and you expressing yourself and what's your enjoyments there and really cultivating that. But also to you, maybe needing to be direct in them as well, which is balancing both your personal needs and others needs right now the uh, self-expression though is that mercury has recently gone into the fifth so i think there's a lot to uh you know express maybe it's writing things down maybe it's creative maybe it's practical arts you know like cooking or um you know art art and like painting and those types of things but whatever it is i think your mind's around here and i think it can be quite tranquil in fact for you expressing yourself regardless of whatever the medium might be and all in all i think just take this very seriously because you know it has been this year and about the past uh, year and a half this um this more serious connotation to your self-expression how you can really build it for the long term all right but in either case easy energy there um, involving those key areas these first few days. Then as we go into uh, this middle part around Thursday, Neptune conjoins the south node. I was talking a lot about this last week. It's a very important conjunction. Um, this is about changes being made, changes that need to be made. And for you, this is in your eighth house. And this is the house of everything that really matters in life, the deeper side to life. Okay, so asking yourself this week, is there anything you can change because there might be something imbalanced having to do with the deeper side to life. Now, that can mean a lot of different things. It can be psychological. It can be spiritual. Do you have healthy connectivity, healthy openness with life? Do you have healthy openness with yourself? And do you have healthy openness in your relationships, for example? And if it is relationship oriented, this is also the house of shared resources. So how's that going? All right. Again, just like the full moon, it's good to do a status check here, but more than likely, at least collectively, there's some sort of imbalance that needs to be brought back into balance. How can you have healthy intimacy, openness, for example, healthy connection to what matters in life versus any over extremes of just wanting intensity or just wanting some ideals about some of this deeper stuff? Or maybe there hasn't been enough energy here. 
Maybe you haven't put enough attention into this area because the, the fact of the matter is, is that the North Node has been transiting your second and there's been a lot of positive energy for you to cultivate your material life and your finances and your material security or all of this more physical stuff. And that's great. But of course, we have to have both. We have to have the physical values and the non-physical values. The things that what I just sum up as what really matters at the end of the day, when we're on our deathbed, what is it that we're actually thinking about? Who are we actually thinking about? These are the types of things uh, that are related to the eighth house. And I think it's a good time to reflect on how you can make change so you can continue to cultivate those that are important to you, those things that are important to you. And again, to connect to life on that deeper level, bring balance here. Okay, so uh, with that in mind, I think there's a lot of transformation taking place this week. I think it can be very constructive. Mercury is going to be squaring up to that uh, conjunction between Neptune and the South Node on Friday in particular. So on this day, for all of us collectively, it's very important we sort of take a step back. If we're feeling a bit impulsive or a bit like the mind is taking over, you know, in other words, like the mind can get in the way. Because with the Mercury square up to Neptune, there can, it can create confusion and doubt if we're projecting things into the future. Um, but with Neptune, Neptune reminds us that this is about surrender. This is about letting go. This is about detaching from these deeper things in the sense that it's allowing it to happen naturally in the present moment and connect to things in that present moment. And so uh, with this square... That's the best way of working with it. There might even be some uncomfortable actions that might need to be taken around this Friday time period to, again, make these changes so you can bring healthy balance to what really matters, healthy balance to your values. And this is also, you know, in terms of your self-reliance, it's very important for you to become self-reliant right now to learn more about this. But at the same time, we have to have healthy interdependency. Is there too much interdependency? Is there not enough? Is there too much of the shared resources where it feels like you're in bondage or enslavement or, you know, it's just, it's restricting you in some sense or debts even, you know, these are the kind of changes we're talking about with the eighth house. But anyways, um, yeah, taking some actions this part of the week, if they feel like there's some things we need to make change with really having that um, tire meet the pavement, right? With the square, that's what a square is all about. It might have to do with you expressing yourself or again, cultivating uh, those passions, what you're interested in, right? Um, now, this conjunction isn't all challenging. Venus is actually in harmony to it, which is very nice. Um, this is suggesting that there's a lot of enjoyment to be had right now, I think, with your routine or your work. Okay, there's a lot of opportunities here. And so that could be a supportive element to all of this. Maybe there's something you can connect to on this level, this daily level, right? Your health, your diet, your regimens, your work, maybe relationships at work, uh, maybe friends, networking, Maybe your home and family can be supportive as well. Venus rules these areas in your chart. So just an opening for that, but it is easier. It's supporting it. And I think it's very nice to have that Venus sextile there lifting it up. That'll be around Saturday. And then uh, Saturday and Sunday, Neptune goes direct. So like I said, things are definitely shifting and changing. And again, it's all in regards to this eighth house. It's all in regards to things moving forward. So you can connect to life essentially on that deeper level. <clears throat> And again, have healthy interdependency there. All right, so things, uh, you'll likely notice it moving forward over the coming weeks. You know, it takes time with such a slow-moving planet to gain momentum, but things are definitely changing, shifting this week, and you could notice that over this weekend. All right, so, uh, so that's the week in a nutshell. The way I would sum this up, Cancer, is that uh, it's a high point with the full moon. This is your ruler of the moon in full status at the beginning of the week, suggesting you could be expressive or there's this awareness. You get a bit more energy and momentum which is good, especially with your ruler at the top of the chart forming the full moon. Now with that, there's a status check of your aspirations, which is great. There's also a status check with your career or productive life, which can also be great. And so continuing with that, see what comes to your awareness and move things forward in that department. Mars in your seventh house, giving you a bit of motivation and directness in relationship, which can be great in a healthy sense, quite supportive this first half of the week. But um, this conjunction, Neptune and the South Node, some past patterns being released, either not enough or too much of the deeper stuff in life or the shared things in life and how you can bring balance to that, making the change to bring balance. And as a result, you'll notice a lot of the stuff moving forward in a very positive way, mind you. But again, we 
We won't necessarily think about it. We won't, we won't see it mentally, but we can certainly feel it intuitively. And uh, again, through the surrender, have a tremendous peace that arises as a result of that. All right, Cancer, so have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next week.